Friday, December 2nd. 7,000 more before we get to 25. Wow. Final stretch. What are your thoughts? Exciting. So we are at $32,000 of debt and some change. My thoughts today are positive. There's been some difficulties paying so much of our income to debt, 63% of our income. I think I felt more burnt out last week, but this week I feel more excited. So it's definitely ups and downs, so you can't rely on motivation. It's really just being disciplined, getting it done. But I feel just very grateful for the journey, and I think it's brought Greg and I a lot closer to work together on this. And it's made me a lot more grateful for what I have to really assess, you know, like what our needs versus what our wants in life. So things are going well. $32,000, and I cannot wait to make it to this pin. Do you know how much we have? Yeah, so we can do two more. <gasps> no, we can do more. Just 30. Oh, wait, I thought we were going to have to pay the balance payment. No. Okay. Down to $30,000 of student loan debt. As you guys might have seen, we are down to $29,000 and some change of student loan debt, which is so crazy. And I know I haven't documented much of the journey, but every single week or more, I've actually been filming on my cell phone, us cutting the debt rings, but I don't post them all to YouTube. But when we're done, I wanna put them all into one video of like every single week, like 52 small videos worth of us cutting down the debt chain. But I realized, I feel like we've learned so much in the journey and I feel like what we've done has been so radical. And in some ways I kind of wish that we have been documenting more. So as you guys know, I am not as interested in social media as I used to be. Um, so I kind of have a hard time getting myself to come out of my shell and actually film these things, but I do wanna at least try, you know? Like I felt it kind of on my heart, at least last night. I was like, I wanna start talking about this because it's so important. So anyways, that's why I'm doing this today. <laughs> I've just been loving having such like a peaceful winter, especially before Greg and I move in the spring because we're moving in February. I guess that's kind of late winter. I just feel like the debt journey really speaks to me so I felt like speaking to it a little bit. We've learned a lot about frugal living, we've sacrificed a lot, but we've gained a lot. I think a big takeaway is that we feel very empowered because we had the goal at the very beginning of the journey, at least I think it was, to pay off half of our student debt by the end of the year. And now we're down to $29,000 and some change. And that is at least, it's less than a quarter of what we started with when we were married, which is so crazy. 
it's not even, it's not a half that's left, it's not a third, it's not even a quarter, it's less than a quarter. I feel like we're getting really close. We are doing all of the things, as you guys know, we're paying cash for our groceries, we're not going out to eat, I make my own bread <laughs> most of the time. We actually, we did buy bread last weekend. We've been really staying true to the journey. Inflation has definitely made things a lot harder. Our rent increased. Wait, Greg, how much more are we paying in rent each month now with the short-term lease and the increase? It was 1850 and now it's 2300. If you didn't hear Greg, our rent was 1850 and now it's 2300 a month because of the increase in rent and because we're on a short-term lease because we had a few months until we're moving so i guess i might as well share that we do have a big move i'm not going to put it in the title because i don't want to like fully announce it to the channel yet because it's kind of a really big topic but if you did hop in this video we are moving to Tennessee, which is really exciting. So both of our jobs know, um, HR knows, so I am really so excited. But anyways, that was a little bit of a side tangent, but yeah, there were a lot of things this year that could have made us experience setbacks and paying off the debt, but it didn't. You know, like with the increase in rent, the inflation. We just feel very empowered that we've been able to stay consistent in our decision making. And what's been really helpful is we know our why. So I figured it'd be nice to kind of touch on that just a little bit because it's always nice to kind of reaffirm why the heck am I doing this? <laughs> um, I definitely can feel that way sometimes. I don't want you guys to think I'm a robot, that I just like don't care to buy anything nice because trust me, I do really like nice things. Like some days we'll go food shopping and all I want is the expensive non-dairy coffee creamer. And I'm like, I need it, I'm entitled to it. Remembering our why is what makes our decision making so much easier. I would say when we started our journey, our why was very us oriented. We really wanted financial peace. Having so much in student loans, we both had our own share that we graduated with and we both wound up getting car loans after college. It's very disrupting. We both agree because we don't like being in debt to other people. You know, the Bible says, the borrower is a slave to the lender. We really believe that because nothing's really your own if you owe it to others. So hand in hand with that, we've always known we wanna raise our family debt free and we wanna take on a mortgage without student loans. We aren't averse to taking on mortgages for homes, but ideally we would wanna pay it down quickly, you know, and have that as like a ball and chain until forever. And, you know, with that financial peace, we've had this vision for the last year, like, I want to go on a really nice vacation to Italy has been what we've been talking about, but maybe it'll change. <laughs> I actually, I still really want to go to Colorado. That's been on my mind. So we'll see what we end up doing. So yeah, if you can't tell, just financial peace it really opens up options. We both know that money isn't everything, but we do know that a lack of money can disrupt everything, like your health and your finances, your relationships, your mental health and physical health, I didn't say that. So we felt very passionate about that. But then also, look, Greg joined. <laughs> I'm talking about, I think our why started more on ourselves and wanting financial peace for like our family, you know? Yeah. But I feel like it's kind of changed, at least for myself in the last day. At least my why now, it feels more oriented on like, I don't want to be a part of the system. So anyways, that's a good transition. That was my original why, is I wanted financial freedom and we wanted options with our money. We really wanted to raise a family debt free. Own but our paycheck. We wanted to own our paycheck. We wanna take in the money from our hard work because we work hard and we don't wanna pay that to the credit card companies or the student loan companies, the car loan companies, whatever. Mortgage. Right. Yeah, um, I do say that we'll be okay with having a mortgage, but I just know we're gonna pay it down pretty quickly, knowing us <laughs> within reason. What has changed for us recently is I think that we've come to enjoy the journey so much. And I think we've become so passionate about it 
that we've really kind of radicalized our opinion on debt, that we think it is something that not only is it good for us to not be a part of debt, but we don't even want to support the system. Like we think it's an awful, predatory, evil system that doesn't have the consumer's interest in mind. So sure, like we could probably have an Apple card and get some points from it, but I don't even want to be a part of it. Greg and I, we watched Borrowed Future last night by the Ramsey Network, which is free on YouTube, so I'd really recommend it. And it was all about the student loan industry and how predatory it is. And oh my gosh, it was such a good documentary. But it kind of lit a fire in me. Like, I don't want to just do this for ourselves, but I don't want to give Ernest any more possible interest and income ever <laughs> because it's just, I think it's an evil company and Greg and I, we both agree on it, that we want to swim upstream and not downstream just with our culture as these days with debt. And it's definitely kind of lighting a new fire in us to continue. And one way that I've felt is even though we might be done paying off the student loans in February, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm ready to be done talking about it because I feel like this journey has been so good and I feel like we've learned so much from it. I feel like we're much more content people. I feel like this was a big test of perseverance, but this perseverance really matured and completed us, um, which reminds me of the James 2 scripture, um, James 1, 2 through 5. That's how or why has changed, is it's been a little bit less self-oriented, a little bit more oriented on the fact that we don't want to partake in the culture of consumerism, always trying to keep up with the Joneses, always trying to spend your money, giving your money to evil corporations that prey on those who don't have financial literacy to make good decisions on themselves. And it's even so extreme to the point where, yes, when we don't have student loans, we could have a credit card and we could probably get great flyer miles and points from it, but those companies aren't just generously giving those miles to us. We know that those extra points, that's because there's a single mom who's paying interest on those credit cards, who is breaking her back because she can't maintain her lifestyle and she's paying interest on those cards to discover, who then gives us our free brownie points for using the card. So I just think it's very predatory and I don't want to benefit from it. So that's just been our mentality lately. I think that the Borrowed Future documentary was really good and really empowering. One thing I like to live by, it's lead by example, not by opinion. If you have the opinion that the student loan industry is evil, if you have the opinion that credit card debt is crushing Americans, don't just voice that opinion be an example and step out of it. It's been fun to live it and I definitely want to continue to spread the good news about it that you know it can be done and I realize like Greg and I are literally so privileged to do what we're doing so I've been really grateful for it so that's my little 29k thought process going on you know final hurdle I have a new fire going on so does Greg although our thoughts on the process are ever evolving and our why is always evolving our actions and kind of core decision making hasn't really changed it's always just been throw all of our money towards the debt say no to extra spending within reason i mean i think we've had a few uh a few times we've spent a little bit more than we should have but it's very rare so so i'm gonna end the video here before i talk too much about my extreme ideas on the culture of debt but let me know if you enjoyed the video and definitely comment if you agree or if you appreciated this new take um i do realize it's very against the grain and i think it's a little bit I think extreme compared to culture. Sometimes I feel like very, I'm still talking about this, but sometimes I feel very alone, Greg and I, and our opinions about it. And so I feel like I use the word extreme to describe it, but what is so extreme about using your own money to pay for stuff? Amen. Amen. <laughs> like there's nothing extreme about it. Like what's so extreme about calling out an industry that doesn't have the consumer's best interests in mind and by saying i'm not going to partake in it and i don't think others should either i don't know i'm going to replace the word extreme with refreshing and that is why i'm talking about it today so i think i felt convicted to let me know if you want to hear more <laughs> let me know if you want to know how greg and i fruit food shop in a pretty medium to somewhat high cost of living state for pretty cheap so thanks guys for watching i hope you have a nice week and i really appreciate it